Looks like you have a flat tire. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't think it would go flat in this cold weather. I thought I'd be fine. Do you think you have anything in your backpack that could catch up with a flat tire? No, I don't think so. I just grabbed it real quick. Just trying to make get some air in the gun. I don't know. I mean, I've never actually fixed a flat. I need to go to the shop and get them to do it. Okay, well then we can uh, go and do that if you don't have anything in your bag. Nope. No, nah, all you have is a is a yogurt tube. Okay, well let's go. Nice because I have a snack. Let's go in and fix it up. All right. Sure. Okay, so now we're on step two. You want to release the tire. Luckily, my bike has a quick release axle, but if yours has a bolted axle, then make sure you carry the proper wrench. Step three, you're going to need these nifty little things called tire levers. So what you do is you use the scoop part of it and you just shove that right into the tire. And now that we have a nice little, nice little scooby thing, you just scrape that along the side and before you know it, it should, it should pop, the tire should pop right out. Just like, oh. All right, so now we're on step four, and this is called the tube. This is what holds the air, and so when you're pulling out the tube, you have to be careful of, of the valve, which is right here. So with this guy, you just have to pull it straight, straight up. There you go, there's, there's the tube. So I lost count like what step we're on, but this is the step where we have to replace the tube. So you have to pay attention what size of tube you have, and to know what size of tube you need is, you need to look on the side of your tire. Here it says 27.5, we have a 27.5 tube, and let's get to replacing. Alright, so in this step, we're going to put the tube back into the wheel, and I put a little bit of air into it so it gets easier to put back in. So here we have a hole where we need to put the valve through, and so just, just like that. And now we just have to feed the, the tube into the tire. Now we're 
we're going to push back the tire in the tube. And so what you want to do is just pinch the tire and just put it in. And if any of the tube is sticking out, you can just tuck that back in. And here it says 40 to 60 psi. So what you want to do is this is a little portable pump that I carry around, and you guys should too, in case you get a flat tire on the road when you're biking. And so you just want to pinch this, put the pump in, and then pull the silver part out like this, and then just start pumping. With the help of movie magic, we have this tire pumped up to 40 psi. And so we're just going to remove the hand pump, and there you go. Fully pumped up tire. Now let's try to attach it to the bike. Alright, so now I'm going to do exactly the opposite of what I did at the start, and I'm going to put this tire right back into the frame. So, I'm going to pull this, pull this part up and back. Okay. There we go. That feels much better. Put that right in between the chains and just drop it down. Like that. And then over here you just want to tighten tighten the axle. So here we have one of my best friends from Two Wheel View. And she's gonna help me uh, reattach these brakes. So they can be kind of tricky. You might need one of your friends to help you with it. And so you just have to pinch in the sides and then you just pop right in, just like that. So I hope you learned a thing or two about fixing a flat tire and during the recycling. Absolutely, thanks so much. I feel much better prepared. And obviously I gotta put some more stuff in my backpack. Right. So I'll be ready for next time. Exactly. Thanks a bunch. Okay. okay.